Hi everyone, my name is Mark Kaplan, um, student at the University of Florida. I um, actually pay out of state tuition, so budget is always stretched a little thin. But with that being said, um, you know, I always felt it was important that you know my money went to good clothes. Uh, so I was always hesitant about going to thrift or consignment shop. Um, if it meant giving up a meal, shockingly. <laughs> still actually rather purchase my clothes at Macy's or Belk or Dillard's rather than trying out thrift or consignment shop. So for this assignment, I actually have never been in a thrift or consignment shop. A little bit hesitant, but actually turned out to be a great experience. Um, so I'm actually interning in Raleigh, North Carolina this summer. Um, so I took a chance. I looked on Google for the closest shop. Um, closest one to me is called Bargain Box. It's in a nice little section of town, actually a lifestyle center, so we just learned in our last lecture, um, called Cameron Village. Um, so I walked in and I was actually blown away. So this is what I found. I actually found this shirt, as you can see. Believe it or not, it's a Polo Ralph Lauren shirt. Extremely high quality. Um, as you can see, it really is Polo. Um, so I never assumed that stores like this, the secondary market, even carry these great brands, but they do, and they're really cheap. I don't really understand how, but um, I walked out happy, and I'm sure the sales clerk was happy to help me. Um, so as you can see, it's extremely high quality. Um, you can see the buttons, nothing's broken, nothing's missing. Um, I was a little... I don't want to say confused, but for example, most of the shirts that I own have that little polo logo. Um, I don't know if you can see this or not, but it doesn't, um, which is totally fine. I'm not that that much of a brand conscious person, um, even though it is a polo shirt. So I'm just thinking maybe there's a mistake. It was an irregular, maybe something more so that Marshalls would carry rather than department stores like Macy's or Bell. I don't know if that's something wrong there, or if it's just the style, but nonetheless, I wear it all the time. I wear it to work. Like I said, I am interning here, so it kind of worked out perfect. I mean, I always use more shirts, um, and it's really it's held up great. Um, again, been through the dry cleaners a few times, holding up just perfect, which leads me to believe that this is not some kind of knockoff or anything. It's it's the real deal. Coming in at four ninety nine plus tax blown away. Um, so actually, I went on my way home from work, so I was kind of tired, a little groggy. Didn't get the chance to shop around too much, um, just looking for something to fulfill this assignment. But I can assure you, I will be back. I mean, what's the point of spending, what is it, $78.50 or $75.50 on a shirt just, just like this, when I can get the same thing for $4.99? And, you know, my stereotype of a thrift shop which is where I purchased this. Actually, the salesperson was describing the difference between thrift and consignment shop and what vintage was. You know, these are all words I'm pretty unfamiliar with. But, you know, to find an article of clothing like this for $4.99, I just, I don't understand why more people don't take advantage of this. I mean, I could see why this is a booming trend. I don't think it's going to be a fad. I think thrift and consignment shops are here to stay. I mean, when I'm paying $3.89 a gallon for gas, um, you know, my salary didn't go up with all these increase, increasing prices. So definitely going to become part of my life. And I really thank this retailing class for introducing me to a world that I am unfamiliar with. And um, yeah, it's, it's been great so far. And I really appreciate that. Um, so hopefully I, before this assignment deadline, come back with some new clothing. Um, I, like I said, I will be back. Thank you very much.